Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I'm just going to show you how I re-thread my serger. So I just want to go ahead and show you how I do it without taking out all of the bits, you know, because with all those little notations on where it goes, it's very confusing. I don't know if this is like a legit way to do it, but it's what works for me. So I wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys. So if you want to see how I re-thread my serger, go ahead and keep watching. This is what I do. I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but this is what I found um, that is easiest for me when I'm changing my threads. Is you want to clip the back threads right above the spool. And then you're going to go ahead and remove all of your thread. And go ahead and put your, I'm using black. Okay. So what you're going to do first is you're going to grab the two pieces of thread, the black and the white. And you go through and you just knot them all together. That wasn't my best job. Okay. Together. It took me a few times of trying this to actually get it right because I kept doing it wrong. <laughs> Go figure. Okay. I don't like how this one... I feel like this one isn't going to be good for me. Clean right out. Okay. Now that you have them all tied together, you are going to turn all of your tensions to zero, just like so. You want them all at zero. And I'm opening up my tray. I put my presser foot up. So I will actually clip these threads right here. That way it makes it easier to pull through. Okay, so go ahead and clip these. And then these are the first ones I will pull through. And if you can see here, when you pull them, the black thread comes closer and closer and you'll just see it travel. When it gets to these little things, you just wanna, what I do is I will slightly do like a little lift to get the knot to go underneath and then just keep pulling through. And pretty soon you will see all black thread. So then I will go ahead and clip it. And I let those hang. And then I grab the tail over here, which is gonna be connected to the other two, um, these two. And you do the same thing. Be careful, because when you're pulling here, it might like make a little snappy sound. So go ahead and pull. And you do the same thing at the top with a little metal clip, just kind of lift it up. One of them comes out faster than the other, but you just slowly pull. And you can see here, the black threads are coming. And then you can see here, we're getting to all black thread. 
So clip those two. You don't have to do anything with those now. They have, I always make sure that they have gone through all the loops. Um, but this process so far has been the best for me. I will go through and this doesn't matter. So I like this second one. This is for my needle. I prefer this one to be on my right side just because I'm weird. And I do not have my glasses on. Drop my presser foot and rotate that so I can see the hole. And I just changed my needles um, last week and I only used it a few times. So otherwise, this is like I would change my needles at this point. And I can't see very well. in the right side and then you do the same with the left and then I just grab them all and push them to the back I don't have my machine on right now, but if I did, I would go ahead and um, hit the foot a few times just to get it loop, start looping. But what you don't want to do is you do not want to forget, because I've done this before and I was like, what is going on? Do not forget to put all of your tensions back. Otherwise, it will be a hot mess. So go ahead and put all your tensions back, close your little door, and you have all of your threads changed. For me, this is what I have found to be the quickest way to change my threads, so I don't have to worry about all of the, you know, all of that. Um, I have learned where they all go, but it's still just a pain in the bootay. So there you have it. And if I do end up taking them all out, the only time I will do that is um, if I go ahead and clean everything out. Like, you know, make sure everything's clean. But I just did that the other day. But if I'm going to take all the threads out, it's because I'm cleaning the machine. Otherwise, I just do this method and it has been working perfectly. I've had my searcher since August of last year and figuring this out a month into having it was the best thing I ever did. Thank you friends for stopping by and watching my little clip on how I changed the thread of my serger. Hopefully this was helpful to you in some way. If not, maybe it was just a good way for you to get a little giggle in while I explained it and had a lot of Fumbles. <laughs> um, if you like this kind of video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. Subscribe if you haven't and just do all the youtube -y things. Thank you for watching and I really appreciate it and I hope you have a very wonderful day. Thank you!